So as you can see, we're getting a lot of eggs from our poultry. So I start thinking of recipe that will require a lot of eggs to make. So today I will be making quiche or egg casserole. Here are the ingredients. I have a dozen of eggs. We, we're going to use about a cup of milk, broccoli florets, cubed ham. The ham is fully cooked. And that's about a cup of sour cream. And this is Monterey and cheddar cheese. Chopped pimiento. You can you can use bell peppers, but I don't have bell peppers today, so I use uh, jarred pimientos. And this is my homemade pickled jalapeno, which is optional. If you don't like spicy uh, quiche, then you could eliminate this. Baby cremini or portobello mushroom. Salt and pepper according to your taste, chopped onions, and a cup of Parmesan cheese. This being eggs, I will be adding some of the ingredients right away. This is salt and pepper, that's according to your taste. Here is a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to be adding a cup of milk. Put that right with the eggs. And I will also go ahead and add the sour cream. And then the cheddar cheese. Oops, try and put the cheddar cheese with the eggs, not on the counter. <laughs> okay. And just gently mix all these ingredients together. And, uh, but my battery died on me, and so now. I'm going to add the ham since this ham is fully cooked and it will not need to be sauteed with some of the in ingredients that I'm going to add in here. I'm going ahead with the ham in this egg mixture. So very gently I should have used a bigger container, but I did not, so I have to be very careful. And as a matter of fact, let me stop using this whisk. I needed the whisk to beat the eggs, but now I'm mixing all the ingredients so I really don't need that okay I think I'll do better off with this rubber spatula right there that's better so I have all of these ingredients here in, in this uh, egg mixture I have ham salt and pepper and sour cream Parmesan cheese, cheddar, and Monterey Jack cheese, and we're going to put this aside. I'm going to do a quick saute with the 
broccoli florets and the creamy mushroom I guess I can't put my camera any lower so I'll use my hand to show the cremini so a little bit of this grapeseed oil to saute the vegetables just probably a, a teaspoon more or less and the ham I'm using is quite lean and I have very little fat which I gather from it and I want the quiche to have a little bit of that smoky flavor that you get when you use bacon but since I'm using ham I'm gonna I'm going to use this fat and render it before I start sauteing the ingredients I'm not close enough let me bring it closer I could actually smell the bacon aroma from this little bit of fat from ham. So I get that smoky flavor and aroma without using bacon. And I'm going to add my onion. We're going to saute the onion until it's translucent. And now we're going to add the mushroom A little dash of salt not too much we already added salt in the egg mixture and the ham contains salt and the parmesan cheese as well I'm going to lower the heat to number four or medium and Put a lid on this and give it a chance to cook the mushroom well. I like my mushroom well done. As much as I love mushroom, I have to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. Oh. Mm. Wow. I love the smell of sauteing for mini mushroom and onion. <laughs> it's so delicious. So now we are going to add our florets of broccoli. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of water. This is just so I could give it a chance to really steam the broccoli so that it's nice and tender when I add it with the egg mixture. We're gonna cover that. And let it saute some more so let's check what I'm after here is the consistency of the broccoli I want it to be tender enough but not too soft to where it's soggy I just don't like any vegetable that are too soggy and to me this is perfect it still got a little crispness about it, but not hard. 
really tender and yet it still got that little bit of crisp texture so I'll probably just sprinkle a little bit of salt in it it does need a little more seasoning and I'm going to leave this here turn off the stove it will have residual heat and continue the cooking process which will be just perfect by the time I'm done making preparation of the rest of the ingredients while I'm waiting I'm going to be spraying I'm gonna spray two dish dishes I mean <laughs> two dishes with olive oil let me bring that to where I could recognize so I'm just going to spray the baking dish with olive oil so that my quiche since it, this is a crustless quiche I'm trying to make it so that it's low carb recipe but I'm going to need a little bit of help from uh, this is olive oil spray which will prevent it from sticking at least not too much if it does it stick so I have two container this one is for my daughter and this will be for me and my husband so let me go ahead and finish incorporating the rest of the ingredients I put part of that um, mushroom and broccoli mixture in these two containers now I am going to add the egg mixture I did not add the pimiento right away because I don't want it to start bleeding <laughs> and turning my quiche pink so by doing this last I'll be able to mix this without turning the mixture to reddish in color now I'm just going to add this egg mixture right over the vegetables and Even it up. Now I'm going to incorporate the rest of the ingredients, which is one with jalapeno, which would be would be mine, and this will be garnish, pimiento, and uh, cherry tomatoes assembled I am going to turn the oven on 350 degree and bake it until the mixture is set and firm 25 minutes the quiche is done and one way you could tell is it's not wiggling anymore it's nice and firm okay or you could simply Tap it and the feel will tell you that it's nice and firm therefore it's set and cooked inside so there's our quiche it's done and we are going to taste it as soon as it cools up a bit let's take a good look and then taste our quiche Wow, it's 
so good. <laughs> I promise you, it's delicious. Cheese is creamy and very flavorful. Mmm. I wish you tried this recipe. I promise you, you will like it if you like eggs and cheese. It is so good. <laughs>